in Laramie on the campus of the University of Wyoming. It's the Cowboys' final home game of the season with Nevada in town. It's a Monday night matchup in the Mountain West. March to March presented by Principal continues from Laramie, Wyoming. The Nevada Wolfpack with an eye on the March Madness taking on Pistol Pete and the Wyoming Cowboys. As we take a look at the Mountain West Conference standings, San Diego still all alone atop the Mountain West Conference standings followed by Boise State and Nevada. Wyoming a disappointing season 3-13 and 13 in conference play. With the great Pete Gillen, <laughs> I'm Carter Blackburn. And Pete, you look at this game for Nevada, where they are on the right side of the bubble right now. It is a must-win, can't-lose game for the Wolfpack. For sure. Nevada's having a great season. 22-7, and seven, tied for second in the Mountain West. But they got a big game tonight. They can't stub their toe. It's a big game. And Wyoming is very good at home. They're very dangerous, so this is a big game. It's going to be fun. Meanwhile, for Nevada, when you look at the inside-outside duo, Jared Lucas and Will Baker, when they are on, Nevada is on. Tremendous inside-outside combination. Jared Lucas shoots 39% for three-point land. He can take over a game at any time. He gets fouled a lot and really makes his free throws. He's a special player. But the big guy inside, Will Baker, is one of the best big men in the Mountain West. He can score inside or outside. He's got the hooks. He's got the three-point shot. He really is a terrific big player. Meanwhile, for the Wyoming Cowboys in a season where a lot has gone wrong, Hunter Maldonado has carried the load. But, Pete, you had your eye on the three-point shooting of Xavier Ducell. Tremendous three-point shooter, but I love Chuck Daly. Lloyd great Chuck Daly said, shooting makes up for a multitude of sins. He would love Xavier Ducell if he was still around. He knocks it down from three-point land. He's a catch-and-shoot guy. He can shoot the three off the bounce. He's made 51 so far this season. He shoots 40% from way downtown. He's got to play great tonight for them to win. In recent years, it's been the Wyoming Cowboys dominating this matchup against Nevada, but the Wolfpack are the team with an eye on March, a critical game for Nevada's NCAA chances on the road at Wyoming. Our Mountain West Conference matchup, the Nevada Wolfpack on the road taking on the Wyoming Cowboys in its senior night here in Laramie, Wyoming, as we take a look at the starting lineups. Told you all about Lucas and Baker, but it's been Keenan Blackshear who's carried a huge amount of the load for Nevada this year, averaging almost five assists per game. He is now nine points away from 1,000 in his Nevada career. Meanwhile, for Wyoming, Hunter Thompson and Hunter Maldonado celebrating their senior night, sixth-year seniors, so this is exhausting their eligibility. Thompson and Maldonado have played more games than any other duo in Mountain West Conference history. Hunter Maldonado, the all-time assist leader in Wyoming history, fifth all-time in Mountain West Conference in scoring over 2,000 career points, so a lot to celebrate. Here on their senior night. Hunter Maldonado, the leader of this Wyoming team. Meanwhile, for Nevada, coached by Steve Alford, now with 665 wins in his total career. Jeff Linder in his third season coaching the Wyoming Cowboys after doing a terrific job in Northern Colorado. Linder, third season coaching Wyoming. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, brought to you by California Almonds. But Nevada points in the paint. They want to get in the glue, and sweet cherry at the foul line. Getting free throws. They shoot 79% for the line. Knock down threes for the Cowboys, and slow down the game tempo. They want the game slow. They don't have the offense that Nevada has. As of late, it has been Wyoming who's dominated this series. This is the only matchup of the season between Nevada and Wyoming. Five straight wins for the Cowboys over Nevada. Cowboys 11 and 5 at home this season. And Pete, even though the net numbers in the standings say that Nevada is well ahead of where Wyoming is this season, you still think this is a dangerous game? Very dangerous game. Once again, Wyoming's very tough at home, and uh, they can't lose this game. They won't be knocked out, but it'll be a big blow to their chances. Wyoming has lost six of its last seven games, but the one win was at New Mexico. So a tough one at the pit, showing what the Cowboys are capable of when they're on. Jeff Lynn is a terrific coach. Once again, injuries have really hurt them. Graham Ike was the preseason player of the year in the Mountain West. They lost Noah Reynolds, another terrific player. Down the baseline, Trey Coleman gets the first bucket for Nevada. Good sign for the Wolfpack. He's not a great scorer, a tremendous defensive player. Here's Maldonado. Into the hands of Thompson, who's a terrific three-point shooter. Maldonado 
can't get the board. Blackshear clears it. Blackshear, in addition to almost five assists per game, averages four rebounds a game. Do everything player. Will Baker misses his first look. He said Blackshear's been unbelievable, Carter. Never been a point guard his whole life. Right? He's got 30 assists in the Mountain West. He's having a phenomenal year for the Wolfpack. Out of bounds, Wyoming keeps it. Mentioned Graham E.K. out for Wyoming. They've also lost Noel Reynolds, who was their leading scorer, who's out for the season in concussion protocol. And then Kyman Anderson and Agba Polo all left the team in the middle of the season. So this is a Wyoming team that has been through a whole lot. They play hard every night, a lot of character, and have very small margin of error. Wenzel misses the runner, boarded by Coleman. Coleman. Coleman has the first five points for Nevada. Great side for the Wolfpack. He's mainly a defensive guy, but uh, knocked down two shots for them, so good start for the Wolfpack. Maldonado fouled on the way to the hoop. Nice in transition. Nice penetrate. Two guys come on the ball. Coleman from way downtown. Swish. The officials got together and ruled that a charge on Maldonado. So Steve Alford in a happy mood after watching the call get reversed. Maldonado's the cream in the coffee, the salt in the stew, cream cheese on the bagel for the Cowboys. He's got to stay out of foul trouble. That's a lot. <laughs> He's also the cinnamon and the cappuccino, but I don't want to go there, Carter. Baker back in. Wow. Baker goes up top to score and make it 7 0 Nevada. Inside, outside, one of the best big men in the Mountain West. Got better each year. Transfer from Texas. Xavier Ducell, step back for three. And Ducell hits the triple. He did that with Bandler. He you say Ducell and the th three-point shooting for Wyoming has to be on if they have a chance. Ducell gets the first bucket for the Cowboys. Exactly. He shoots 40% from downtown. He's made 51 coming into the season. Uh, Coleman hot hand. Trey Coleman's world with his passing through it, Carter. Coleman has eight of the first ten for Nevada. I didn't see that coming. Coleman who averages three points per game. Ducell tries another three. Long rebound to Thompson. Maldonado. Blocking foul is called. Inside to Baker, the big fella. Got a lot of moves in the post. Good hands and good feet. Here we go. From way downtown, Trey Coleman's on a roll right now. You're in Laramie. Foul was on Keenan Blackshear, his first for Nevada. Wenzel finds Thompson, stepping outside for three. Thompson buries the triple. It's a straight. Much rather be outside shooting threes. Six-year senior card, as you mentioned before. Blackshear tries the three. Boarded by Thompson. And then a foul committed at the backcourt by Williams. Freshman picks up his first. Ducell's a great three-point shooter, but Hunter Thompson's pretty good, too. He loved the top of the key. Bang! Here come the Cowboys. Beginning of the game is key. They want to set the tempo, play slow. They don't want to get in a rat race because they don't have the scoring power of the Wolfpack. Combined seven of the 11 shots in this game have been from three-point. Maldonado, nice feed inside. Finished off by Odin on a good look for Maldonado. Yep. Four assists a game for Maldonado. Baker in tight, throws it in reverse. He's gotten better and better every year, Carter. Transfer from Texas. Having a great year. Coleman and Baker have combined for all 12 for Nevada. Maldonado. Another good look. Odin can't finish this one. Blackshear has the rebound. 
Coleman thought about the three. Darian Williams, tough two, boarded by Maldonado. Cowboys don't want to run. They want to anesthetize the other team. I don't know what the word means, Carter, but I know you're smart, Syracuse guy. You said Slow to... it down, right? <laughs> so, that's right. Ducell leaves it in. Too easy to the rim for Ducell. Blackshear resets. Coleman. Boarded by Wenzel. Taking the time. Just use the shot clock. Try to score in the last 10 seconds unless you have a wide open shot. Be patient. Ducell. Has the lead. Ducell steps out for a second main three. And the Cowboys take the lead. Well, Ducell, if it feels like leather, he's going to shoot it. That's his role. Eight points early for Ducell. Lucas answers with a three. Jared Lucas puts Nevada back on top. Leading scorer for the Wolfpack. 39% from downtown. Transfer from Oregon State. A terrific player. Hunter Thompson feeds inside for Maldonado, taken away by Baker. Lucas runs the Wolfpack. Blackshear off the bounce, creates in the corner. Coleman rattles home another three. Coleman has 11 points for Nevada. Coleman's playing great. for the Cowboys, 15 a game. Tremendous player. He really misses, if everybody does, Graham E.K., a great big guy. Heard all year for the Cowboys. Lucas finds Baker in the corner. Lucas is going to take it and make it. Lucas drills another triple, and the hot shooting start continues. Nevada is 5 for 7 from 3. Lucas has a pair of made threes, which is a good sign for Nevada. He's been cold of late. Maldonado takes a bump from Coleman, who has the hot hand for Nevada. Five made threes for Nevada. 21 to 15 start for the Wolfpack. College basketball on CBS Sports Network is sponsored by Principal. When you take care of your team, they take care of business. By AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, secure. And by California Almonds. Eat almonds, live well, repeat. Senior night for the Hunters. Hunter Thompson and Hunter Maldonado, both in their sixth season playing for the Wyoming Cowboys. Both getting their master's degrees. And Wyoming down by six here, but Hunter Maldonado doing what he always does, Pete, creating. Hunter Maldonado, one of the top assist guys in the conference. He beats his man off the dribble. We freeze it right here. They come over. Two guys come on him. All right, he kicks it inside to the big guy for a layup. A great assist by Hunter Maldonado. You got to help the helper. No help the helper. Nice finish inside. Okay. Great offense for the Cowboys. Maldonado with three assists tonight. The all-time assist leaders in the Mountain West Conference, and guess what? Hunter Maldonado has now tied Kendall Williams atop that list. Wow. Tremendous player. Does it all. 15 that points a game, four assists a game. Veteran guy. He was there, stayed with the team. They had first couple years, they had tough years. Last year had a great season, went to the NCAA tournament. He was a big part of it. This year, preseason, they were picked second in the Mountain West. Unfortunately, a uh, big injury to Graham Mike, a great big guy for the Cowboys. Jeff Linda, outstanding coach. Good to see Coach Linder back on the sideline tonight. His father's been ailing. And so Jeff Linder took time off away from the sideline to be with his father, but back on the sideline tonight for a while. We wish the best of the Linder family. Davidson missed three, boarded by Foster. 
You see Maldonado again, no rush, Pete. Wyoming just yep. wants to slow it down. Exactly. The reason, because they don't have the firepower. They don't have the depth, the offensive talent that the Wolfpack has. Very small margin of error for the Cowboys with all the injuries. Maldonado back and in. Creates Wenzel for three. Voted by Trey Coleman. Great look. Tremendous pass by Maldonado. Just couldn't finish. Coleman floater. Left it short. Tap follow won't go. Wenzel has the rebound for Wyoming. Taking it time. They want a game in the 50s, Carter. They don't want to get in the 70s or 80s. Wins along the wing. Gets a screen from Caden Paul, the freshman from Waco, Texas. Bump and a foul called on Davidson. Nevada still leads it by four, although Wyoming hanging tough with the Wolf back early. Our March to March presented by Principal from Laramie, Wyoming, where Nevada has led by as many as seven in the early going. A four-point edge now on Wyoming. Pete, you talked about the inside-outside duo of Lucas and Baker, and a solid start for that duo. Tremendous players, a big reason why the team is doing so well, 22-7. and seven. They can score all area of the court, and uh, it's certainly off to a good start for the Wolfpack. Combining for 10 in the early going between Baker and Jared Lucas. Lucas, who's been struggling of late, but has put up solid numbers all season long. For sure, 16 points a game, six in the league, three-point percentage, 39% from downtown second. Uh, terrific player, transfer from Oregon State. He's got the greenest of green lights, lime green. Lucas coming off an 0 for 4 from three-point performance against Fresno State. That was a grinder of a game. That Nevada won 60 to 56. Yep. They don't want to play a game like that. They want to up tempo. Knocked away in tight. Darian Williams gets Nevada rolling. And sure enough, finishing off on the other end, Daniel Foster. Great pass. Good defense lead to excellent offense. Maldonado to Ducell. Maldonado has it taken away, stolen by Davidson. Blackshear Euros his way in. Nice pass out to Davidson for three. Couldn't finish it. Cowboys got to take better care of the ball. They average 12 turnovers a game. Can't win that way. Gonna fake your pass to make a pass. Four turnovers for Wyoming, none for Nevada. Make it five turnovers. Davidson has back to back steals for Nevada. Nice deflection, good hustle on defense. Push, great pass. Wow. Nice finish of the hoop. Great defense, lead to excellent offense for the Wolfpack. Wenzel picks up his first personal foul for Wyoming. Hunter McIntosh running the point for Nevada. He's coming back from a knee injury that's cost him almost all the season. Well, five seconds closely guarded. Catch these Cowboys back on our air Saturday night as they go head-to-head -head against the 18th-ranked San Diego State Aztecs. Tip-off begins at 10 Eastern here on CBS Sports Network. Right. 18th-ranked in first place, San Diego State Aztecs. Hunter Thompson spins out while well, we needed that three-peat. Yeah, he rushed it a little bit. He had plenty of time, plenty of space. Actually, I can take Foster, I think. Just clear, just go by him. This is the top fader. Good job by Kenny Foster. Yeah. Cowboys are not going to get any easy baskets or cheap baskets, Carter, so they got to execute well in the half court. Right now, too many deflections. Credit the defense by the Wolfpack. Winslow tries a three. Rattles out, boarded by Baker. Nevada just one of its last six shooting. 
You're not making your threes, you got to go inside. Well, the Cowboys don't really have an inside scoring game, then you got to swing it and drive the ball. Lucas off on the three. Maldonado spins, left it short, follows his own miss and finishes it off. Hunter Maldonado on the offensive glass. Cowboys that time they pushed it, Carter, because the half-court execution is not real good, so you might have to pick your spots, when to run, when not. McIntosh running point. Baker facing up. Will Baker, he's got the game beat. Nice touch, six points in the early going for Baker. Terrific play. He'd rather be outside card. He can score inside the big fella, Baker, but he'd rather face the basket. Only three players have scored in the game for Nevada. Maldonado attacks and earns a trip to the free throw line. You see Maldonado, nice spin move, attacks the basket. Good offensive okay, rebound by Maldonado. He does it all. This is the shot. When you go into the glass, use the glass, but hung in there, got the offensive rebound. He's a spectacular player. He hung around the first couple of years, Carter. As you know, they had some tough seasons. He hung around, and last year went to the big dance, and he was a big part of it. Jeff Leonard couldn't say enough positive things about Hunter Maldonado, including what he's done in the classroom. He's earning his master's degree in finance. A sixth-year senior from Colorado Springs Vista Ridge High School. Gets both free throws and Wyoming's back within four. They're hanging around. It's a big, big game, especially for the Wolfpack. They're in a tournament now, but they can't stub their toe down the stretch the last couple of games. Jerry Paul projects Nevada as a nine seed right now. Baker. Wow. Baker has eight now for Nevada. And no answer for him. Inside, outside. Texas transfer. Terrific big guy. Certainly one of the top big guys in the Mountain West. Maldonado in the paint. Maldonado turns and hands on Maldonado. Carrying the load for Wyoming. He's got to get some help, Carter. A little help by friends. Your music guy. Beatles said Beatles. that a long time yeah. ago, right? And Joe Cocker, but yeah, the game with the Beatles. <laughs> yep. Gotta get some help. Can't do it by himself. Honor Maldonado is keeping wide open in it. Yep. And we see Baker with a nice hook shot on the baseline. Terrific big guy. Maldonado fades. Bang. Terrific game here in the Mountain West here in Laramie. Stick with us. Nevada on the road in Wyoming with a four-point edge right now. It has been a hot shooting start for Nevada. Five main threes in the early going, two of them from Jared Lucas. Way downtown is Coleman from way downtown, mainly a defender. We see another one from Coleman. Here we see like, Lucas goes back cut. Yep. So, Pete, somebody told me one time that shooting makes <laughs> up for a multitude of sins. I mean, is that is that accurate? I heard that somewhere, Carl. I think you might have told me that one time. But, yeah, shooting's important. They shoot usually in the Wolfpack 35% from downtown, but now 50%. So, they're taking a page out, out of Wyoming's book. So, we get a great one here in Laramie. Will Baker, who has been such an inside-outside presence, he scored the first 22 points against Utah State. And Nevada, who's not been a tremendous three-point shooting team, but 50% in the early going in this one tonight. Yeah, doing a good job from downtown. So uh, right now, shooting makes up for a lot of problems. Off the inbound. Missed by Williams. Baker has the rebound. Put it on the deck, however, ripped away by Foster. Maldonado back and in. Maldonado has the last 10 points in the game for Wyoming. Tomorrow on CBS Sports Network, we get it started with a critical 8-10 matchup as St. Louis visits VCU, followed by the number 18 Aztecs clashing against Boise State for the Mountain West top spot. We wrap it up with Colorado State at San Jose State. Watch it all here on CBS Sports Network. Make it 11 straight. Wyoming's last 11 points coming from Hunter Maldonado. Tremendous player. 
Inside, outside, assists. 74, terrific young man, excellent student. He's what college basketball is all about. Young man like that, Hunter Maldonado. Keeping Wyoming in it. Coleman cut off. Inside, get it to the big guy. Coleman off the bounce with a shot fake. Coleman fouled by Nate Barnhart. The seven-footer trying to stay with Coleman. That's a tough task. Great offense by the Wolfpack. Side to side to side. Ball screen, get into the paint. Excellent execution by the Wolfpack. Coleman's season high is 13 points. He has 11 already. Make it 12. Check it in for Nevada, number 11, Davidson. Coleman, the junior from Jeffersonville, Indiana. Scored 11 of Nevada's first 18. And gets them both here. Yep. Steve Alfred Carter, as you know, is a legend in the state of Indiana. Played for Coach Bob Knight, won a national title. His dad was a legend in the coaching ranks. And goes back to his home state and got a terrific player. Great call. Maldonado off the shot fake. In tight again over Coleman. Maldonado is carrying Wyoming. Trey Coleman's a tremendous defender. Maldonado has the last 14 for Wyoming. Coleman can't answer. Foul on the rebound off Barnhart. Not the Maldonado. Ball moves to the can of worms in the paint. Move it up. Nice jump puck. We go again. Get a great camera angle. Fade. Makes a living in the paint. Tremendous player. He's got to get some help, though. He can't do it by himself. Michelle's got to step up. Hunter Thompson. Wenzel. Nevada nearly throws it away. Gives it up, Coleman off the bounce, Coleman. Tough two, Coleman has his season high already in the game. That's 15 points for Trey Coleman. Another turnover for Wyoming and a foul committed by Wenzel. That's the second on Wenzel. Baker's, Baker's falling out of bounds. Give it to Stray Coleman to pull up mid-range game. The Wolfpack is tremendous in the mid-range game. Better teams in the country taking the shots. Here we go, they'll change the defense, which I like. They're doing that because right now, Wolfpack's in tremendous offensive rhythm. And sure enough, Wyoming gets a steal out of the change of defense, Pete. So many times, Claude, I've been saying it all season. When a team changes defense, that first possession, the opponent misses a shot. Is it not ready for it? Loose focus. Maldonado draws a double. Kick out. Wenzel for three. Give Maldonado the assist on the three-pointer for Wenzel. Now the all-time Mountain West Conference leader with his fourth assist of the game. Amazing. 1-3-1 to stay in that now. The record-setting assist for Hunter Maldonado. Left the backers man in. Two guys come to him. Late getting out to Wenzel. Bang. Excellent offense. That's a big part of their offense, Carter. They do that. He's back. Maldonado win, and he either goes to the hoop or he kicks it out to a free guy in the perimeter. And they try to the two best offensive players, Lucas and Baker, working on the baseline. Floater goes, Darian Williams, the talented freshman from Bishop Gorman High School in Las Vegas. Exactly, Carter. Player of the year in the state of Nevada. Seven points, seven rebounds a game. One of the better rebounders in the Mountain West. Oh! Odin hits the three. Jeremiah Odin with a much needed triple for Wyoming, and we're even at 33. It's not raining outside, but it's raining threes inside. Five made threes in the game for Wyoming, five for Nevada. Offensive foul. Wyoming has a chance to take the lead. See, 
is our man again, Maldonado, way downtown. Boom. Great offense for the Cowboys. Odin from downtown. It's Jeff Linda. A lot of adversity this year. The pick second preseason in the Mountain West. And the told before card with the injuries has really, really hurt the Cowboys. And how about the job Steve Alford's done? Right? Last year, 13 and 18. This year, 22 and 7. So both these, uh, you know, so many great coaches in the Mountain West. Steve Albert, who's been around this league a long time, think about his time in New Mexico, says top to bottom, this is the toughest the Mountain West Conference has ever been. Yep, exactly. Some of the weaker teams have come up, knock off the other ones. How about San Jose State, Carter? Eight and eight in the conference. Whew. Odin rejected inside. Davidson has the block, sending the bat on the run. Blackshear's going to take it himself. Missed at the rim. Wyoming's hit five of its last six, to even it at 33. Tempo is what the Cowboys want. Take their time, try to execute. Got Maldonado bumped by Blackshear. We're all tied at 33. Wyoming coming back on Nevada. Coming up on AT&T in the half, Adam Zucker, Sarah Kustak, Roy Hibbert, and John Rostein standing by in our New York studio to get you up to speed on today's college basketball action. All coming up on AT&T at the half. Even at 33 between Nevada and Wyoming, and already a record-setting night on his senior night, Hunter Maldonado sets the all-time Mountain West Conference assist record. Smiles all around for Maldonado and the Wyoming Cowboys right now. 619 career assists now for Maldonado. Tremendous play, a very unselfish, a good size, 6'7 point guard. Really a great basketball IQ. Maldonado has led this comeback. Nevada led by as many as seven. Maldonado misses it. The last foul was important. It was the third on Keenan Blackshear. So one of Nevada's key players is on the bench for a while now. Third best in assists in the Mountain West, Blackshear. He never played point guard before. He's had a fabulous year. Foster for three. Maldonado has a rebound. Maldonado with five rebounds now. Taking their time, just be patient. Ducell with seven to shoot. Xavier Ducell on the baseline, cut off, has to heave it. Two pointer, no good. Way off. Great defense by the Wolfpack. Lucas tries a three. The bat has gone cold, however, they're going to keep the ball here as Thompson out of bounds. <laughs> Wyoming, how do you how do you like the tempo for Wyoming right now? I love it. They're taking their time, they're putting the bat in sleep. They're executing 50% from the field, so I think the key is the you know half-court offense by the Cowboys. Lucas has a bucket for Nevada. He has eight points now to put Nevada back on top. But this is what you said Wyoming had to do. Yep. They want to get the track meet. They don't have the offensive firepower. Thompson. They need more help, though, for Maldonado. Thompson can make that, but he's cold right now from downtown. Williams tries a three. Thompson the long rebound. Cowboys can't get in the paint unless it's Maldonado caught. They don't have a big guy to go in there and score or get fouled. The only guy gets in the paint is Maldonado off dribble penetration. Wenzel turns the corner. Maldonado for three. Williams boards it and pushes Nevada. Blocked by Wenzel. Maldonado brings it back. Race to the hoop, spins out, follow won't go from Odin. When you go into the glass, use the glass. Great player, but poor decision. Try to shoot it straight in. Nevada uses a timeout to get Hunter McIntosh back in the game. Albert's Wolf back clinging to a two-point edge. Nevada by two, 35-33. It's been a hot shooting start for the Wolfpack. 
But Wyoming playing defense as well. Big block from Wenzel. Did a great job. They push it up the court. They let him go now. Coleman let him go, but you got to use the backboard. Unless you're going to dunk it. It's okay. It is true. This guard did shake. He's doing everything else, guard. He's going to make some mistakes. It's not Superman. The Wolfpack started 5 of 7 from 3 points since 0 for 6. And Keenan Blackshear is on the bench. McIntosh running point for Nevada. Lucas off the curl. Hits a 2. Had the score. Manson from Oregon State. Leading scorer for the Wolfpack. 10 points already for Jared Lucas in a bounce back game. He was just 3 of 11 shooting at Fresno State. Averaging just six points per game in the last six. That was touched. So Wyoming keeps it. You have to fake a pass to make a pass. Got a great win here in Laramie. Stick with us. Big game in the Mountain West. Here at CBS Sports Network. Cowboys shooting 46%. Honor Maldonado has 14 points for Wyoming, but he can't carry it all, can he? No question. He can't. Tremendous player, but he's not uh, Superman. You got to get some help. To knock down three. Hunter Thompson can make those threes. He's got to make it. He's a, a very good perimeter shooter. All right. ducell has got to get going, but uh, credit the defense by the Wolfpack on the other players other than Maldonado. In addition to the 14 points, six rebounds, five assists, and right out of the timeout, Winslow hits the three to put Wyoming back within one. Goes the more the chance the Cowboys got a chance for a stunning upset. A Wyoming team has lost six of its last seven games. Yep, but they're in almost every game card, as you know. Lucas misses in top, foul is called. Nice pass, ones will catch. Game space, big time shot. Nick Davidson, the freshman, gave him a little too much room. Wenzel knocked it in. Transfer from Utah. Catch and shoot guy. Yeah, Davidson on the other end commits a foul. And that will send Thompson to the line for a one and one. So a bad stretch for the red shirt freshman, Nick Davidson. Thompson gets the first. Earns the bonus. Thompson shoots 83% from the line. Coming on top with 14 seconds left in the half. And we're in a ball screen from Will Bank in the center. Take him back in touch. There's the ball screen. Tipped away. Maldonado pokes it away. Maldonado gets the steal, heaps it up, Baker gets the block. Foul called on Baker, point six showing. Maldonado just heaved it down court, Odin gets fouled. Great defense, Maldonado gets a piece of it. Look at this, throws it over, way over his head, just get it to the rim. A great hustle by Odin. Tremendous defense by the Cowboys. Odin, two shots. Junior from Chicago hits the first. Straight from the foul line for Wyoming to give the Cowboys a three-point lead. basket at the end of the half for Nevada, but Wyoming has the 40 to 37 lead on Nevada. After the break, we'll send you to Adam and the gang in New York with AT&T at the half. Wyoming 40, Nevada 37 at the half. You're watching March to March, presented by Principal.
at Arena Auditorium in Laramie. Last place, Wyoming has a three-point edge on the Nevada Wolfpack. Carter Blackburn with Pete Gillen. Well, there's no question how Wyoming got here. A heck of a first half by Hunter Maldonado. He's been carrying the load all year for this Wyoming team, but the first half was one of his best. Unbelievable. 14 points, six rebounds, six assists. He was awesome. Did it all. Nice penetration. Go to the nice bounce pass inside. Odin with the finish. All-time leader in assists in the Mountain West. Really dribble penetration. He's fabulous. At a time. Missed the shot. Rebound. He did it all. Not only six assists to go to 620, the all-time leader in Mountain West Conference, but six rebounds. So put Hunter Maldonado on an early triple-double watch with 14 points, six rebounds, six assists. Let's take a look at the first half stats. Brought to you by National Car Rental. Look at the free throw differential, and guess who's responsible for that free throw differential? Hunter Maldonado. No question. He drew seven fouls in the first half, Carter, which is outstanding with a dribble penetration. So that's a big difference right now in the short lead, 10 for 11 from the free throw line for Wyoming. You know, I've heard, Pete, that the first five <laughs> minutes of the second half are important, especially if you're trying to pull an upset, right? Exactly, Carter. True words were never spoken. So it's important in any game, in my opinion, the first few minutes of the second half, who's going to grab the game by the throat? Important now for the Cowboys who are a little bit under man. Can they maintain this? A lot of times they get tired, Carter, as you know, in the second half. Let's see if they can maintain their great first half performance. Well, indicative of what Wyoming is facing depth wise right now, the bench didn't take a shot for Wyoming in that first yeah, half. It's unbelievable. Odin tries a three. Boom! And buries it. That's the second made three for Odin. He took a pop as well, played through it. Largest lead for Wyoming at six points. Seventh made three for the Cowboys. He averaged eight for the game. Blackshear playing with three personal fouls. Hits the jumper. That was a big, big factor. It hurt the Wolfpack. He only played 12 minutes in the first half. A tremendous player. Third in the Mountain West in assists. I mentioned before, he never played point guard before this year. Wenzel called for the travel. Thompson with the screen. Odin behind the screen. He went under the screen. Buried the three. Odin, the streaky three-point shooter. Coleman, who had the hot start for Nevada. Coleman continues his career effort. That's 17 points now for Coleman. Playing great. Top defender for the Wolfpack. That's why he's on Maldonado. Maldonado has Baker on him now. Maldonado trying to shot fake his way. Finds Odin inside. Odin fouled and earns another trip to the free throw line as Maldonado creates again. Yep. Tremendous. Great moves inside. Odin with a pump fake. Good job. Trey Cole with the foul. Pro differential continues for Wyoming. 11 points from the foul line for Wyoming. Only two in the game for Nevada. And the Wolfpack are skilled at getting to the line. I mean, a quarter of the points on the season for Nevada come from the free throw line. That's one of your keys to the game, Pete. Exactly. And they shoot. 79% from the free throw line, the Wolfpack. So it's one of their strengths, but right now they're not really get into the paint that often. But once again, Blackshear was missing. He can really get in the paint. He's the best guy, dribble penetration. Baker, nice feed. Coleman finishes inside. 19 in the game for Coleman. Off a great look from Will Baker. And a great pass by Baker. Thompson in the corner. Boarded by Williams. Can't buy one. It's one of his strengths. Three point shooting. One for five tonight for three. Lucas. Deep three. That was from Cheyenne call. That wasn't in Larry match. Maldonado attacks. Flips it to the corner. Dussel now on to Thompson. Wenzel tries a three. Another miss. Another rebound for Williams. Yeah. 
Blackshear draws a foul. Here we see <laughs> shot fake, nice cut to the basket, nice finish by Coleman. Excellent execution by the Wolfpack. The Baker's some player card, huh? He's gotten better and better each year. And top big guys in the Mountain West. Whoa. Nearly gave up an easy one off the inbound. Yeah, Coleman was wide open. Moving screen called on Baker. Second personal on Will Baker. One of the big keys the last few years, moving screens. Baker, yep, good call. It moved a little bit. Doesn't take much. Yeah. The Cowboys hang on. Don't play many players. Ducell blocked by Coleman. Cowboys get it back. Ducell tries a three. Oh! Hits it. Ducell does some talking as he comes back down the court. Got the block and stuck with it. Ends up with a three rather than a two. Yep. Keep attacking the basket now, Blackshear. Williams skipped to the corner, taken away by Maldonado. Nevada gets it back. Lucas steps into the three and hits. It always happens on a loose ball card. The team gets the ball back, they make a shot. Big hoop for Wolfpack. That ends a three-point shooting drought for Nevada. After the five early made threes, that's the first of the second half for Nevada. Ducell tries another one. Boarded by Williams. Williams finds Baker bumped with a foul on Maldonado. That could be big. That's number three on Maldonado. Well, it began with defense. So Ducell gets blocked, but sticks with the play and ends up with the ball back in his hands for a three. And Wyoming leads it by two, but Nevada fighting its way back. Lucas hits the three. We got a two-point game in Laramie. Our March to March presented by Principal continues from Laramie, Wyoming, where the last place in the Mountain West Conference Cowboys have a two-point lead on the second-place team, the Nevada Wolfpack. As we take a look at the Wolfpack resume right now, the bottom line, Jerry Palm projecting a nine seat for Nevada. But here's where you look at the bad loss at UNLV. That was actually a quad two loss. They haven't lost a quad three or quad four game. If Wyoming were to beat Nevada tonight, it would be the worst loss on Nevada's resume. Yeah, good point. Once again, at UNLV, I don't think it's a bad loss, in my opinion. Big rival, right, playing on the road. Uh, but uh, they got a great resume, but they can't afford to lose tonight, knock them out, but that'll certainly be a big blow to their chances. Zero losses in quad three or quad four for Nevada. Baker to the free throw line, rattles home the first. And again, right before the break, Maldonado picked up his third personal foul, so Wyoming's gonna have to play a few minutes at least without Hunter Maldonado. And we're even again at 48. Cowboys playing without a pure point guard. Could be big problems for Wyoming. The freshman ball turns it over. Baker in the open court. Oh, a nice finish from Baker. Will Baker flying into the hoop. That's now 12 in the game for Baker. First possession without Maldonado. Turnover for the Cowboys. another turnover without Maldonado things falling apart for Wyoming offensively for sure Powell drops the ball layup by Baker can't sit too long Carter you don't want to be the richest guy in the graveyard get him back in after another minute or two and he's got three fouls but Blatcher playing with three fouls for Nevada right now as well yeah. Coleman steps into the three and hits Coleman with a hot hand that's now 22 in the game for Coleman. 
Nevada is 11 and 3 on the year when a player scores 20 plus points, and Coleman has his career high with 22. Here come Maldonado and Hunter Thompson coming back in. Next dead ball. Ball back and in. Freshman gets bumped by Baker. That'll be the third on Baker. CBS Sports celebrates black history, its limitless culture, and undeniable impact. Happy Black History Month. So just as you said, Pete, Maldonado and Thompson back into the game for Wyoming. Can't live very long without Maldonado especially. They can't. They don't have a, a backup point guard. Good players, but they're not used to handling a ball under pressure. Credit to defense by the Wolfpack. Odin off the bounce, gets to the rim, and Odin finishes. He's had a nice game. 14 points now for Odin to match Maldonado. That ends a 10-0 run by Nevada. Foster trying to go on Blackshear. Can't happen. I don't think he can handle him. Take him, Blackshear. Blackshear quickly draws the double. Coleman attacks. Coleman. Can't finish, out of bounds, however, off of Maldonado, and Nevada's gonna keep it. <laughs> Williams, a freshman of the week, again, in the Mountain West Conference. For the that fifth is time. Fine. Yep, five times, Scott, as you mentioned. He's got a chance to be freshman of the year. Mountain West, terrific player. Dussel commits the foul. That is his second. <laughs> Maldonado's gone forced to now. He's not a, a great penetrator trying to protect Maldonado defensively for the Cowboys. <laughs> Lucas trying to turn the corner on Dussel. Lucas. Foul on the rebound called against Nick Davidson. Fourteen fouls on Nevada in the half. It's important for both teams. Try to get in the bonus corner and try to score for the free throw line. Balance it out a little bit. Well, then I was going to be smart with three fouls. Best defender, Trey Coleman, Gordon Maldonado. It's a great matchup. Terrific offensive play and outstanding defensive play. Winslow off the bounce. Cowboys got to get something from Hunter Thompson. Pick and pop. Maldonado takes it again with seven to shoot. Davidson on it. Maldonado backs in and draws another foul on Davidson. That's the fourth on Nick Davidson. The freshman gets his third. Going for the rebound and then his fourth trying to defend Hunter Maldonado. Good call. They're trying to stop physicality. Two hands on him. No one's going to call it. Freedom of movement. Rule 10 1 4. Freedom of movement. Yep, yep. Bumping him. Stopping the movement to the basket. Good call. Two, two hands on the dribbler. That's an yep. automatic. Exactly. Ducell launches. Long rebound. Thompson keeps it alive. Into the hands of Foster. Maldonado brings it back for Wyoming. Here comes the double. Thompson has to come out to midcourt to get it. That backcourt violation. Stepped on the midcourt line. Well, the turnovers have been costly for Wyoming, Pete. No question, Carter. They average 12 a game, but it turning them up now. Too many turnovers for the Cowboys. It's 10 in the game now for Wyoming. Three turnovers in the last four possessions for Wyoming. 1-3-1 one, one zone. I like it. Try to protect Maldonado. Right. Penetration against the zone. Williams, but it spins out. Tough rebound. Foster, but he gives it right back to Williams. Williams misses again inside. Thompson finally clears it for Wyoming. Good job by Coach Jeff Linda. Change defenses. 
did that because Nevada was getting penetrating to the basket too much, trying to protect the rim, protect the plays in foul trouble. Williams called for a foul, reaching in on Maldonado. Second on Darian Williams. That's already 16 fouls on Nevada. If you're Wyoming, keep attacking the basket off the bounce. Referees are calling it pretty tight. Maldonado fakes the three. Offensive foul. Banging with Coleman. And Maldonado gets his fourth. A huge foul with 12 19 to go. A little conundrum for Coach Linda. Yep. Coleman three spins out. Well, then I can't play his game with a dribble penetration. He's got to be careful. Foul called on Coleman this time down. Yep. Four on Maldonado, that's huge. Four on Davidson, and Wyoming's now with the bonus. Trying to come back again on Nevada. Nevada by three on Wyoming during the last timeout. A technical foul called on Wyoming head coach Jeff Linder. Arguing about that last foul called on Hunter Maldonado. The offensive foul meaning four on Maldonado. Kelly Pfeiffer has a technical foul on Jeff Linder. Yep. So frustration boiling over for Wyoming right now. Yep. That hurts. Close game like that. So mark it down, Pete. The three-point edge for Nevada when Maldonado gets his four because yep. last time Maldonado went to the bench, Wyoming turned it over on the first two possessions. Exactly. I have to play with him. We got it. So what do we shoot first? Technical first. Right, thank you. Shoot tech first, we should have. And then to the one and one. Yes, sir. Blackshear, who's played through his foul trouble. Three on Blackshear, but Keenan Blackshear's managed to stay in the game. Yep. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to attack Blackshear. Such an integral part for the Wolfpack. They don't have too many guys that go off the bounce card other than Maldonado. Already six turnovers in the second half for Wyoming. And now yeah. Maldonado's staying in the game for now. Yeah. Well, might stay with the zone a little bit more to try to protect him. We'll see if he makes the second one. I keep it for a while. <clears throat> Rest him a minute or two and bring him back. He need him in the game. Maldonado stays in. How about that for trust from your head coach? Leaving Maldonado with the four personal fouls. Playing his own, which I like. Protect him a little bit. He just can't be too aggressive at the point of his own. One, three, one. The weakness of the free throw line and the baseline. Get the ball to base it. There's only one defender on the baseline. Forced it. He's a little guy. the corner blocked. Foster got a piece of that one from McIntosh. Excellent defense by the Cowboys. Doing that to protect Maldonado, protect the basket a little bit. Eight made threes in the game for Wyoming. Winslow off the bounce. Winslow in time. Offensive. Oh, oh Brendan Winslow. Wow. That's his third. Wow. Looks like he moved under him. Wow. We have a great camera crew. Wenzel goes in. Yeah. Yeah. I, bad call. The referee's doing a good job. They missed that one. They moved under him. They got to be there before he leaves his feet. They were not. It slid under him. A lot of referees here in the stands, Carter. We're in brown and gold. Back to man-to-man, -man. a little change of pace. Foul called on Foster.
Foster. Great look from an overhead camera. Sends Lucas to the line for the first time. At six points from the foul line so far tonight for Nevada. Team who's fourth in the NCAA as far as free throw line scoring. Lucas gets them both. And shoots 86% from the free throw line. Hunter Thompson's got to give him a little offensively lift. Pick and pop, give it to him. Thompson tries the three. Well short. Can't do it. Yeah, Thompson's one for six shooting tonight. Yeah. They need him to help. Got a good look. Just couldn't finish. And a double into Baker. Spinning baseline. Maldonado has the rebound. That's seven rebounds down for Maldonado. Does it all. Left out with short. Play on. Linda thought he took a bump. Baker. Oh, Baker is going to be called for the turn. Could have been an offensive foul as the other ones are swinging by Baker. Back in his man in. Legs got tangled up. Maldonado. You said that Wyoming is in just about every game. They're in this one with Nevada led at the half. Yep. But the question is down the stretch, can yep. Wyoming stay in the game with Nevada? Exactly. They don't have points from the bench, Carter. They get no help from the bench. Make sure to tune in to the 2023 Reese's College All-Star Game presented by Walmart on March 31st, live at 4.30 Eastern, right here on CBS Sports Network. Foul called on Coleman, that is his four. Maldonado shoots 74% from the free throw line. They have to make their free throws to hang around, Carter. I think they're tired. Wyoming looks a little bit, a little drained right now. Half of Maldonado's scoring tonight has come from the free throw line. <clears throat> That's nine of the 17 for Maldonado. Yeah. Hunter Thompson, the big guy for the Cowboys, got to give him something. Maldonado gets them both. Timeout, Wyoming. Time Wyoming. The Cowboys hanging around with the Wolfpack. Wolfpack by a bucket on Wyoming. Time now for Worth a Watch, brought to you by Principal. Heck of a game all around for Trey Coleman for Nevada. Fabulous. He's averaging five points. The game goes in. No. Blocked the shot. They push it ahead. Same sequence. Step back, a little floater in the lane. Again, nice backdoor cut by Trey Coleman. 22 points, season high. Knocking down threes. It's his world. We'll just pass it through it tonight. Playing great. 11 of the first 18. His previous career high was 14 points, 22 points in the game for Trey Coleman. But he picked up his fourth personal, so both he and Nick Davidson have four for Nevada. That hurt Nevada. First half caught, as you know, when Blackshear was out, he only played 12 minutes, and that helped the Cowboys get going. So, got a great one here in Laramie on CBS Sports Network. How about this one? 24 points combined in the last six games for Coleman, and he has 22 tonight. Every game is a completely unique situation. Anything can happen. Ooh. Nevada's missed its last seven shots, make it eight. Can Wyoming take advantage? But there was contact on the last one, Carter. No call. Look at the bench. 
was excited. Barnhart, the big center, screaming. Over with 17 in the game, and Wyoming is back on top by a point. The last place Cowboys giving Nevada a test, and what is a must win, can lose game for the Wolfpack. A clear side, get it to Blackshear. I don't think Lunzo can stay in front of him. Two in foul trouble already for Nevada. Two at four, Coleman and Davidson. And then Maldonado picked up his fourth at the 12-19 mark, but he stayed in the game. Coleman mm -hmm. with 22 points. It really hurts the Wolfpack. Blackshear in tight. Boarded by Maldonado. Nine straight misses from the floor for Nevada. Skip to the corner, Dussel misses the three. Boarded by Blackshear. Best three-point shooter for the Cowboys. That's what you wanted. Just couldn't finish. Yeah. Blackshear dumps it off for Baker. Baker wants it on the post. He'll face up now. Tack follow won't go. Nevada's missed now its last 11 shots from the field. Both teams are very tired. Did the team get much from the bench at all? Cowboys, no points from the bench. Wolfpack have gone seven minutes without a field goal. Wow. Maldonado with a shot clock winding down. Cut off. Lost it out of bounds. It's another Wyoming turnover. And yet, the Cowboys lead it by one on the Wolfpack. College basketball and college athletics lost one of the true gentlemen yesterday, Terry Holland, passing away. And Pete, I know Terry Holland is very special to you. He's the man who hired you at the University of Virginia. Yeah, the Southern gentleman, uh, a great coach, a great administrator. Sadly, we lost him last uh, last night. Uh, he did a wonderful job. Took Virginia to the Final Four twice. Coach Ralph Sampson, coach of the year, was a great coach, and may he rest in peace. Well, Terry Holland, not only a terrific basketball coach, but then. Athletic director of both Virginia and East Carolina was the athletic director emeritus at East Carolina University, the five-time conference coach of the year. Rest in peace, Terry Holland. Yeah. Here in Laramie, a great game between Wyoming and Nevada. Cowboys lead it by one on the Wolfpack. Again, if you're thinking NCAA tournament-wise, Nevada on the right side of the bubble right now, but a loss to Wyoming would be the worst loss of the season on the resume for the Wolfpack, which is not something you want on the edge of March, Pete. For sure. Would knock them out, but it's a, it'd be a big blow losing tonight. Right now, Jerry Palm projects Nevada as a nine seed. Lucas in tight. Lucas, another miss. Finally, Will Baker ends the field goal drought after 12 straight misses by Nevada. Great rebound by Will Baker. The first basket in almost eight minutes for Nevada. And then Wyoming turns it over again. Williams run out, lay in. Wolfpack coming out of the timeout with a head of steam. Well, Donato couldn't foul and had four fouls. He had to let Coleman go. Look at the turnovers this half. Already 10 turnovers this half by Wyoming. He averaged 12 a game, so. Foul called on Baker. <laughs> Off the miss, Baker gets the follow. Yeah, take it right to the basket. Odin back to the free throw line. He's five for five from the stripe. Seventeen in the game for Odin. Baker gets his fourth personal foul. So Baker, Davidson, and Coleman all have four personal fouls for Nevada.
Cowboys shoot 70% per line, so they got to pick it up a little bit down the stretch. Holden's free throw brings it back within two. The last place Cowboys, the second place Wolfpack. The Wolfpack get it to Blackshear, penetrate, attack the basket. Blackshear steps back and hits the tough two. Blackshear, who's been quiet in part because of the foul trouble, just five points in the game for Blackshear, who averages 15. Oh, no! With the dunk! Wolfpack struggling to control dribble penetration. Blackshear step back into paint. Boarded by Maldonado. That's eight rebounds now for Maldonado. Seven assists and 18 points. Does it all. One of the best players in the Mountain West, Hunter Maldonado. Down the baseline, Maldonado oh. hits the floater over Davidson. We're even again at 62. Maldonado has more moves than a can of worms in the lane. Timeout, Nevada. Even at 62 in the Mountain West matchup. Out march to march. Even at 62 between Wyoming and Nevada. Nice move, Maldonado. Nice look, nice fake. Nice finish inside. That's now 20 points for Maldonado, 20 for Odin. Yep. From Wyoming, now I can see the playing some zone at 1 3 1. Keep him out of foul trouble. Not as struggling from the outside right now. I keep Maldonado in the game. They're going man to man. Maldonado has managed his foul trouble, got the fourth with 12-19, and has stayed in the game with four personal fouls this whole stretch. I don't think Wenzel can stay in front of Blackshear. Blackshear, floater, boarded by Thompson. Jeff Linus says, take your time, slow it down. From Wyoming, I'm going to try to drive to the basket, swing it side to side and penetrate off the bounce. Referees are calling pretty tight. I should have a wide open three. Odin off the bounce. Backing in on Williams from the baseline. Tough floater won't go. Wenzel keeps it alive. Into the hands of Thompson. So a second chance for Wyoming. We're going to ball screen now. Maldonado and Hunter Thompson. Maldonado attacks. Oh! Misses it at the rim. Oh! It won't go for Dussel. Finally cleared by Coleman. Point blank shots. the fourth on Williams. Penetration. Yeah, with the shoulder, yeah, I agree. I think he did get him. Maldonado beat him to the spot. It was close, but I think it's a good call. That's the fourth personal on Williams. Yeah. Could have gone either way. It's a bang, bang play. Steve Alford obviously didn't like it. Gotta be careful, Steve. Don't get a team. Asking if they was an elbow thrown by Maldonado. Checking the monitor.
Lakers coming back in the game. Good move by Coach Alfred. Anybody's game with 426 to go. Exactly. Wyoming's been here a lot. Most of the time they come up short. Nevada led by seven early. Wyoming's largest lead is six. Keep driving the ball if you're Wyoming. You're Nevada, just keep it in front of you. Make a mega shot over you. Maldonado with a nice oh! pass. There's Owen with the dunk. Off a good look from Maldonado again. Great pass by Maldonado. 8 assists now for Maldonado. He's closing in on a triple-double. His last game at home in a Wyoming uniform. Blackshear into the corner. Coleman, 3. Boarded by Wenzel. Thompson, 4-3. Yeah! Thompson hits just his second three of the night. It's a 9-0 run for Wyoming to take a five-point edge. Well, call timeout now from Coach Alfred. We group a little bit. I know it's timeout the dead ball, but I have to use the time. One side to the big fella. Get it to the big guy. Oh! Poked away, Wenzel has a steal. Maldonado sets it up. Back into the hands of Maldonado. Attacking off the bounce, Maldonado to the rim. The lead is seven for Wyoming, largest lead of the game for the Cowboys. <laughs> Timeout, Nevada. Now Wyoming's on a roll. Here we go. Maldonado, great pass inside. Odin with the flush. Great assist by Maldonado. Same play, great camera work. Now we, here we go. At the top to where you been, Hunter? I'm right here. He has real estate at the top of the key. Maldonado, you don't play at me, I'm gonna take it to the hoop. Great one here in Laramie. Our March to March presented by Principal. An 11 0 run by Wyoming to take a seven point advantage as we take a look as our keys to the game brought to you by California Almonds. In Nevada, uh, points in the paint, yeah, 20 points is good, but sweet charity at the foul line, no, no charity. Only seven made free throws. They average 17 made free throws. They shoot 79% from the line. All right, Wyoming knocked down three shots. Nine for 22 is good. Slow down the game tempo. Yeah, the game's in the 60s, which we want. We don't want it in the 80s because we don't have the firepower of the Wolfpack. Nevada on the bubble. This would be the worst loss of the season on the resume for Nevada. This would be a quad three loss to the last place team in the Mountain West Conference, Wyoming. Down by seven, desperation time for the Wolfpack. Foul called on Ducell as Lucas gets into him. When we're done here in Laramie, it is on to inside college basketball, a full recap of the night. In college hoops, inside college basketball is next on CBS Sports Network. Lucas gets the first of two. He's a great scorer. Shoots 39% from three-point land, so Cowboys got to guard him. On the Wolfpack on one side, the cat, or get the ball to Lucas. Gets them both. 1-2-1-1 one, one, one zone press by the Wolfpack. Get the ball in the middle of the court. Timeout, Wyoming. Oh, that was a long five seconds. Timeout granted to Wyoming. So as you take a look at the Mountain West Conference standings right now, about a tie with Boise State. 12 and 4, yep. 
Big, big game. They got one more game at home against UNLV for the Wolfpack. Wyoming's down at the bottom, last place. Where Nevada is right now, 30 in the net. And actually look at the bunch between Boise State, Nevada, and Utah State. All right there. They're all NCAA tournament teams, in my opinion, but once again, it's a, a narrow line. It's very tight. A lot of teams from all over the country, but uh, it, down a stretch is important. Long way to go. This game is not over yet. Two possession game. It's not over yet for the Wolfpack. Wyoming basketball. Wyoming got the timeout, but you like the press from the bat. Yeah, I liked it. One, two, one, one zone press. Sixteen turnovers in the game for Wyoming. Well, Steve Alford knew that this was not going to be an easy one, even though you look at Wyoming's record and his words, if this is the last place team in our league, our league is very, very good. Because a dangerous, you said from the very beginning, this is a dangerous Wyoming team, Pete. For sure. They've had some close losses. They, Utah State beat them in a close game. They've had a bunch of them. Fresno State last game. Maldonado beats the pressure. Now Wyoming will look to run some clock. Take care of the basketball. Too many turnovers in a half court for the Cowboys. No foul now if you're the Wolfpack. Just keep them in front of you, make them shoot over you. Odin tries a three. Oh, buries it. Oh, this tremendous second half has lifted the Cowboys. An eight-point advantage. Lucas about 6'3", just jumped over him. Oh, great game tonight. Xavier Ducell called for the foul, his fourth, sending Coleman to the free throw line. Best case scenario for Nevada, chance to score. With the clock stopped, but Coleman misses the front end. Winslow hits the deck, play on. Keep it in the hands of Maldonado as best you can. I'd say after this possession, you got a foul. If you're the Wolfpack, I'd play this out. Double. Foul there. Yeah, I think it's a little early. I would win one more possession. Steve knows his teams. Steve Alvin's a great coach, a wonderful career. 655 wins, which is 14th on the list of active Division I coaches. Great coach, wherever he's been, he's won. Maldonado to the line. Ten points from the free throw strike for Maldonado in the game. Ten assists. He's a rebound away from a triple-double. He shoots 74% from the line. Would be the second career triple-double for Maldonado. Heck of a senior night. And Pete, how about him playing through the foul trouble? He got his fourth at the 12-19 mark. Stayed in the game allowing the Wyoming Cowboys to play through the pressure from Nevada here in the second half. Yeah. You saw without him the couple possessions you mentioned, Carter, was scrambled legs, two quick turnovers, right? And had to get him back in. Misses the second. Nevada needs something quick. Look for a three. Williams misses the three. That's a travel. Going to be Nevada basketball. Thompson hits the deck. He said he got pushed. It's then Nevada basketball. <laughs> that would have been a crucial rebound for the Cowboys. Got the Wolfpack capitalized. Get it to Lucas. He can get a three. Foul called on Ducell. Didn't tangled up with Lucas. Here we go. Going to shot. And Williams missed shot. Yeah, he did. I don't think Lucas pushed him. Good call. Referee's done an excellent job. Ducell gets his fifth, so he's fouled out. <clears throat> OK, 
Kenny Force is coming in. Had a lot of injuries career. 6'5 senior from Aurora, Colorado. Had a turnover early in the first half. He's got to take care of the basketball when he gets it. Big loss for the Cowboys. Minute 21 in Nevada basketball. Not done yet. Exactly. You're a coach at 121's an eternity. You'll win. Lucas has two here. Lucas Stellar at getting to the free throw line as well. We talked about his three-point acumen, but over 150 free throws on the year. And he shoots 86% from the line, so you won't get your own, you don't want to foul. Pass from Oregon State. Misses the second, however, Blackshear has the rebound. Missed it in time. Wenzel got a piece of it. And then a foul called on Nevada. One, two, one, zone play. You can't move now if you're Maldonado. Wenzel breaks the pressure. Odin. Foul on the way up. McIntosh called for the foul. The fans wanted an intentional. But yep. So did Jeff Linda. He wanted an intentional. Says, says he wasn't going for the ball. Didn't play the ball. They can look at it. Here we go. He goes Odin. I did try to strip him. I think he did. He tried to strip him on the way up. I wouldn't call that a flagrant, but the ref's going to look at it. Oh, it's a foul. Not a flagrant. No, it's a foul. He, he brushed him. It wasn't a, a brutal foul. Certainly not a flagrant. A basketball play, as they say in officiating yeah. parlance. He tried to strip on the way up, Carter. Yes. I like your palm. Thank you. <laughs> what a win this would be for Wyoming in an incredibly trying year. And again, Jeff Linder had to miss time because of his father ailing. And one of the reasons he came back tonight was to be here for the senior night for Hunter Maldonado and Hunter Thompson. Big thing, you had to handle the 1-2-1-1 one, one, one zone press by Nevada. Common foul. Two shots. Common foul. Kelly. Common foul, which I think is the correct call. Was to try to hurt him. Try to strip him on the way up. Just a brush. Almost no call. No. Wasn't a flagrant. Odin, two shots, a career high, 25 points in the game for Odin. Just a little ray of hope for the Wolfpack. That's not, not dead yet. They're going to score every possession. See if it's a three or a two. Uh, Foster. Uh, Foster commits a foul. Two shots coming for Lucas. Not a good call. Not a good play by Foster. Yeah, good call. He fouled him for sure. Can't do it, Foster. What's the matter? He's a senior. Lucas gets a first to two. Man-to-man -man press, they change their press. Hands to Maldonado, yep. In the hands of Maldonado. Blackshear doesn't give the foul. Poked away. Wyoming ball.
Timeout, Wyoming. Moves it out of bounds on five. Yep. It was off Williams, Carter. I think it's Wyoming ball. That was the cover. Williams, knowledgeable, says immediately after the ball goes out of bounds, go to the monitor, and sure enough, they are. We go. Williams, hustle. Uh, looked like he knocked it away, Williams. Nice. Heads up by Williams, all right? Get a look at it. Again, the call was out of bounds off of Nevada, Wyoming Bowl. It was a correct call, I thought. More angle. Wyoming Bowl. If Wyoming wins this game, it will be the sixth straight win over Nevada in the series. This one, the only meeting of the season. An improbable Wyoming win. The last place Cowboys who had lost six of seven coming into tonight against the second place Wolfpack. Foul given by McIntosh. And now Maldonado will just get a chance to add to his stat line. Again, a rebound away from a triple-double. Maldonado has 23 points, nine rebounds, 10 assists in the game. Tremendous night for the six-year senior. 74% from the free throw line coming into the game. What a senior night for Maldonado. Unbelievable. Did it all. Scoring, rebounding, assists. It was fabulous. I'm the Wolfpack now. I'm looking for a three if I can. We get the ball to Lucas coming off screens. I don't think Forster can guard him for Wyoming. McIntosh tries the three, boarded by Thompson. Foul given by Nevada with 36 seconds to go. Thompson with a chance to all but ice it for Wyoming. So one regular season game remaining for Nevada. It's against the rival UNLV. Where does this leave Nevada? A loss to Wyoming tonight with one regular season game in the Mountain West Conference Tournament remaining. Good question. I still think they get a good shot. They got to beat UNLV at home next week. They can win at least one game. All right, they'll get a bye in, in the quarterfinal, at least one game in the uh, Mountain West Tournament, if not two. So I said one. Quality to party. So they have, they've had a great year, but this is a big loss, as you mentioned before. Biggest loss of the season so far for the Wolfpack if it does finalize that way. The Wyoming team who's played tough but lost six of seven games, only three wins in conference all year. A double digit lead for the first time in this game tonight for Wyoming. You look at a Cowboy team that didn't expect it at this point, Pete. I mean, the expectation was Wyoming would be playing for the NCAA tournament right now. Picked second after they went at large to the NCAA tournament last year. Picked second in the Mountain West Conference. And with as good as the Mountain West Conference is, you say second place, that puts you in the NCAA tournament. But the major injuries, Graham Ike, who's missed the year with a knee injury. Noel Reynolds, the leading scorer, who's in the concussion protocol for the rest of the year. Three players left the team in the middle of the season for Wyoming. It has been a long, long season for Wyoming. This is a sweet capper if they can close this one out at home in right. the regular close season. Close the deal, Cody. You're right. It should be a, a monumental win. As you mentioned, unbelievable adversity for Wyoming. Uh, Ray Mike was preseason player of the year. He's a record machine, 6'9", about 250. You know, great player. Everything's 
Everything's gone wrong for Wyoming this year. I mean, they even had a bus ran off the road coming back from Air Force. I mean, th that's how what uh, what could go wrong has gone wrong for this Wyoming basketball team this year. Yeah, Murphy's Law, bad luck, but <laughs> this would be a great memory if they can hold on. Home run ball, Odin. Line it up. Oh, hammer it home. Odin with a windmill dog to put the excla exclamation point on what will be a win for Wyoming. Lucas gets the basket in tight for Nevada. No fouls now for the Wolfpack. Nevada made just four of its last 21 shots in the game, and the Cowboys are going to dribble out an 80-71 to win. A senior night send-off for Hunter Maldonado and Hunter Thompson as last place Wyoming upsets Nevada 80-71 to tonight in Laramie. Great win for the Cowboys. Tremendous team effort. Maldonado was out of this world. He was the best Cowboy for sure. A career-high 28 points in the game for Jeremiah Oden, a player who averages eight points per game, and he gets to finish it off with this windmill dunk. Throw it home. 28 points. Oden was spectacular along with Maldonado. So the Cowboys get to celebrate with their home fans. Yeah. So as we take a look at the updated Mountain West Conference standings, it is now Boise State all alone in second place. San Diego State still atop the league at 14 and two. Nevada falls to 12 and five. Wyoming improves to four and 13. Our score tonight, Wyoming over Nevada 80 to 71. Coming up next, it's inside college basketball. For Pete Gill and our entire crew, I'm Carter Blackburn. This has been a presentation of CBS Sports Network, the 24 hour home of CBS Sports. An 80 to 71 win for Wyoming over the Nevada Wolfpack. A senior night send off for Hunter Maldonado and Hunter Thompson. And a celebration in Laramie. We now send you back to Adam and the gang in our New York studio for Inside College Basketball.